This one is just a, a beginning on what the compressor does and why it does it. I'm just showing this representation of a compressor here. Uh, there are two lines coming into the compressor. Sometimes there's four, but there's only two lines have to be there for the compressor to operate. The two other lines may be an oil cooler. Uh, there could be, some of them have three, which is just a process too. But there's two main ones there. The large one's a suction line. It's a suction line because it sucks. It pulls refrigerant gas from the evap, pressurizes it inside here, and there's a small line coming out it will be hot gas. So what's going on inside here? It could be a piston compressor, it could be a rotary compressor, it could be a scroll compressor. Those are all different types of compressors that are out there. But they're all gas pumps, meaning they're meant to pump gas. Cool returning refrigerant gas coming in from the evaporator. That cool gas, number one, that cool gas cools the compressor because this is a big motor. This, uh, you know, it's going to vary in size, of course, but the air conditioner in your home could be two to five horsepower. So they're big, they're big electric loads. They are the biggest electric load. They are the prime mover of this system. Okay, that cool gas comes in there and one of its properties is it cools the electrical windings and the bearings and so on of the compressor. That cool gas comes in, is pressurized, like I said, piston, scroll, rotary, whatever. I have a number of videos on how compressors are put together and I'll be referencing them throughout when I go more on compressors. That cool gas comes in, goes down, and usually the compressor is right down here. I'll go ahead and mark it this way. Compressor here, the shaft comes up, and the motor is here. So it's a direct drive motor. This cool gas comes in, cools the windings on this motor, and then is brought into the compressor and pumped straight out. You can put a line between here and the compressor, kind of give you an idea, wiggling line. Uh, that is going to put out the high pressure gas. Now the high pressure gas is, it contains all the heat that was pulled out of the evaporator. If you remember the evaporator was boiling and absorbing heat from the surrounding area. Well that heat is in the gas coming back here. Then when the compressor increases its pressure, that heat is still in this gas here. In addition, the heat of compression is put into the gas too. So it has both the cooling load BTUs and the compressor itself BTUs, the energy used, in that gas. That goes to the condenser as a hot gas, and then of course is compressed, as I said in the condenser one, and run through the expansion valve and back to the evaporator again. So the gas that's inside of these things just simply rolls around and around and around forever. It does not harm the gas to boil it and condense it. It can do that millions of times. It's no problem. Anyway, the compressor is the prime mover. It's what makes everything happen there. And consequently, it's the source of a lot of problems, too. So, um, and there are protections for compressors, and we'll get in more into that later. But the compressor is the prime mover. Now, I've just finished four videos, one on each one of the main things that must be on every refrigeration system. 
Now I'm going to start doing some more videos telling uh, more about how compressors work and, and the rest of the parts in there and the description of the different parts uh, as we go along. And this series will cover most of the basics for refrigeration. Uh, I think that's it on that one.